The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So number three, we need to verify the following identities. And when you get a question like this, that just means be able to turn one side of the equation into the other. So we're starting with the following for 3a. We have cosecant squared theta minus 1 over cosecant squared theta. And we want to show that that is the same thing as cosine squared of theta. So what you should notice here is that since we have cosecant both in the top and the bottom and our denominator is only a single term, we want to split this into two fractions. So this is really cosecant squared theta over cosecant squared theta minus 1 over cosecant squared theta. So this is obviously 1. We have the reciprocal of cosecant squared. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so to flip that around, that's just sine squared. And you can see here that this is your Pythagorean identity. Since sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, 1 minus sine squared is just cosine squared, and that is the same thing as what that was supposed to be. For part B, we have one that's a little bit more difficult. So we have 1 over 1 plus cosine theta plus 1 over 1 minus cosine theta, and we want to show that that's equal to 2 plus 2 cotangent squared theta. Okay, so what we need to do here is we have two fractions uh, that have different denominators. If we want to get these, try to get these together and see what we can turn in, uh, you know, what turns into one of our identities, we have to do a common denominator here. So the first one, we need a 1 minus cosine theta on the top, plus this one needed a 1 plus cosine theta. So now on the bottom, we have 1 plus cosine theta, 1 minus cosine theta. So when we try to simplify everything here, uh, let's see what we get. So on the top we get minus cosine plus cosine, that's done. We just get a 2. On the bottom, 1 plus cosine theta times 1 minus cosine theta is going to be 1 minus cosine theta squared because we have a difference of two squares. One minus cosine squared using our trig identity is just sine squared. So we get two over sine squared theta. So we need to turn this into two plus two cotangent squared. So lastly, let's just say this is two cosecant squared theta. So we want to show that this is the same thing as that. Well, this comes into our other forms of the Pythagorean identity. Not only do you have that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, but you can think of it as if you divide everything by sine squared, you have this other identity that comes out, which is 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. That's one of our other Pythagorean identities. So what we can do is to try to get this to be equal, let's instead of our cosecant squared, remember we're trying to get it equal to this, so you only need to work with this side of the equation. Instead of cosecant squared, let's write that. So we have 2, but instead of cosecant we're going to write 1 plus cotangent squared theta. And now you can see that if you distribute the 2, you get 2 plus 2 cotangent squared theta. That's exactly what we were supposed to get. So that this identity is also verified then. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.